Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY is how to upcycle a light fixture. I found this light fixture at my local Habitat for Humanity. It was $100 and I loved all the detail. It had glass in each of these panels, but all I had to do was remove that and other than that, I love the shape of it. So I'm gonna be painting it. The paint that we're gonna be using today is Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula. It's a paint and primer in one, and I'm going with black. This is one of my favorite paints for metal because it sticks really, really well, and you don't have to prime it. You just clean your piece and go. So I'm gonna show you how smoothly it goes on. With spray painting, you wanna make sure that you're doing nice, even motions so you don't get any drips. You can always come back if you miss a spot, but you don't wanna stay in one spot for too long. It is time to take down this old fixture um, simple way to make sure you have the power off is just to turn the light off and make sure no one touches that and turns it back on on you. You could also flip the breaker off down in the basement if you know which one it is or well it's in the basement in our house but wherever your breaker box is. But just turn the light switch off and it won't, it won't get any power up here to the light. So I'm just going to unscrew these should come down pretty easy. There we go. And if I didn't want this to bind up like that, I could just go and do these, uh, these wire nuts and pull this all through. But I'm not reusing any of this on this particular lamp. Sorry if there's a lot of shadow, I gotta have the light off so that I can undo these. I'm shocking myself. It's shockingly dark. Okay, so I've got my wiring here. I don't know if you can tell real well. It's pretty bright with my other light that I'm shining up here. But this is the copper, the bare copper. This is your ground wire. The black in the United States is your hot wire and the white is your neutral. You're going to want to make sure that you get those right on your new lamp. A lot of your newer lamps will be color coded. I'm using an old lamp which is not and I'll show you how to tell the difference. White or your neutral wire. This smooth one here there's no rib on it and it's going to be hot. Some, sometimes you might just not have like a black wire there, there could be like a red or a blue wire. Those are also going to be hot. And a gray wire would be neutral. Gray and white are neutral. And if you don't have a ground like this and your house is wired for a ground, just make sure that that ground is connected to something that it's ground to and connect this one to the black, this one to the white or gray. And you'll be fine and it'll work just great. Helps when you're hanging it if you don't forget to put parts on. All right, and that'll hang just like that. Now to wire it up. How much wire do we really need? I'm just going to wind this in here. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I've got my ground wire. I'm just going to wrap it around this ground here so it's got some place to be. And I also want to point out that I am in no way, shape, or form a licensed electrician. So take this advice as you get it. I'm just a guy doing stuff in my own home from experience. And my electrical experience goes about this far right here. 
I can wire in a plug and I can wire in a light. Um, the facts I did give you on the color coding is correct, but if you don't feel comfortable doing this on your own, definitely hire someone to do it. It's not that expensive to get an electrician into your home to wire a light. So I've got my one bulb in and you can see there it is working. I will go ahead and button up that top so you can't see all of that wiring and then we'll put the rest of the bulbs in and we'll be done. So before I go stuffing this in here, I am going to put some electrical tape around here just to be sure that these connections don't come apart when I'm pushing them up in and arc on each other. I do not want to fire. Alright, got the electrical tape on up here. It's time to poke this back up underneath. Then we just pull this up and spin this on here and that hides that so you can't see that electrical. Alright, I'm going to get the rest of the bulbs in. We'll turn it on and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, we've got our light fixture up. Thanks to Zeb's electrical skills, we've got it all working. We had a couple of fixtures that weren't working and we used a 50-50 vinegar to water ratio on a Q-tip and we just cleaned out those sockets and we were able to get the corrosion out. It looks like somebody may have left this outside because it was a little rusty. But we got the corrosion cleaned out of the sockets and the bulbs worked and we're ready to go. Hope you enjoyed our DIY and it inspires you to take a little spray paint and an old fixture and turn it into something fun. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.